Hi, this is Stanley and I'm going to be showing you uh, how to set up your baseline grid. So I think the first thing we need to do is get ourselves a new document. So file a new document or just go at Control N or Command N on Mac on the keyboard. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it on the default setting. The thing I'm going to change is I'm going to give this three columns and I don't like 4.233 so I'm going to run that gusher off to five. And if you've got CC, then your preview check button on, you will see what's happening in the background. I'm happy with that, so click OK. Next thing I need to do is I need to get some text. So I'm just going to hit T on the keyboard or click on the key to type and draw myself some text frames. I'm just going to use these columns as a guide. So I'm going to click and drag and just draw myself one. That's uh, so just sort of three random numbers over to the top. I'll tell you what, I'll fill that entire column. There we go. Next, I'm going to do is click on the selection tool or hit escape. I'm going to click on the first text frame, click on the out port of the frame, then click in the second frame, then click on the out port, and then click in the third frame. They're all now linked or threaded together. So just Double click so I'm inside the first text frame. I'm going to fill this now with some placeholder text, which I'm going to get from my type menu all the way towards the bottom. Fill with placeholder text. Kaching, and there it is. Great. Now, the next step is uh, this is all about the baseline grid, so we better turn the baseline grid on and reveal it. Now, a couple of places we can get that from. The quickest way actually is just to go up to the application bar. Here it is on the Mac, on the PC. Don't forget it's appended to the menu. You can see the Mac's pretty busy up there already. That's why it's down here. Now, view options, view options. I'm going to click on view options and I'm going to select the baseline grid of the drop down. Just make sure it's gone on. Yep, it has. It's definitely switched on, but where is it? I can't see it. Well, we're going to find out why. Now, the baseline grid options are all going to be located underneath the preferences panel. Now the preferences on the PC is going to be at right at the bottom of the edit menu. On the Mac, it's underneath the application title there, the application name. Oh, the keyboard shortcut, Command K on the Mac or Control K on the PC. Now, we are uh, talking about grids, so we're going to go to the grids option. From the right hand side straight away there we are there's the baseline grid options here now a few things to have a look at now why can't i see the baseline grid because the baseline grid is currently set to a view threshold of 75 percent and if you look at my document in the background there on the tab there's a name it's untitled because i've not saved it 47 percent i'm currently viewing that document at 47 percent except it's set to the threshold of 75 percent so I'm only going to see it when it's zoomed in at 75%. So let me change that because I'm working on a small MacBook Pro here and the screen's quite small. That's why it's quite tiny on there. So I'm going to set that to 40%. It's less than 47. That should clear it. I should now be able to see it. Makes sense. Color, light blue. If you don't like the light blue when it appears, you might think that's a little bit intrusive. You can always change it to something a little bit different, a light gray or something. I'm going to leave it on light blue. Uh, start. Kind of self-explanatory 12.7 millimeters off, uh, from the top of the page relative to the top of the page of oh, that means it's going to start here on the margin because that margin there that magenta margin was set at 12.7 millimeters so that's where it's going to start i can set that at zero and it will start from the top i also have the option to start from the top of the margin a couple of options there to think about um the next thing uh, is the increments the increments every value here is currently set to 12 point this is really really important to get this to work out properly this value here must match the value of the leading the line spacing if it doesn't then it's not going to work properly i'm going to change this default 12 to 14 point quite happy with those settings so i'm going to click on ok hey there's my baseline, it's showing, hurrah. Now, I can see uh, none of this text is currently aligning. I can see, let me just zoom in actually. I'm just going to um, just going to hit the selection tool there and use my keyboard shortcuts to zoom in. I'm just going to zoom in slightly there, just use the uh, zoom tool if you're not sure of the shortcuts. Now, look at that. 
nowhere near the line. This is across the line, and again, this is above the line. So we've also got some problems here. Nothing's aligning up here. It's, it's all over the place, all higgledy piggledy. Well, the whole purpose of using the baseline grid was to help me align all this text. So I'm going to do that now. Let me just see what's going on first of all. Now, I'm going to double click inside that first text frame. I'm just going to do Control A or Command A in the Mac to select all the text. Now, the control panel, I can see underneath the uh, character controls, the character formatting controls here, that there's the name of the font, Minion Pro. Next to that, size 12 point. Underneath that, this is my lady, my line spacing. My line spacing is currently set at 14.4. That's just the automatic setting that's been created I'm using a 12 point font. Now, did say it was really important that they both match? Well, yes, the baseline grid should match this. So I'm going to first of all change this to 14. They then match. I can see the shift then. Look at that. Still not aligning to the baseline. Hmm. Maybe the font at 12 point. I'm quite happy with that. So, how on earth are we going to tell it to lock it onto that line? Well, this is a paragraph thing, so we're going to click on the paragraph formatting controls. Come along the control panel, do, 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 do. And there it is. Look, two little icons one with uh, the text clearly not aligned, and the one beneath is aligned. So, if you hover over, there's a tool tip do not align to the baseline grid. So, guess what that one says? Align to the baseline grid. Fairly simple, really, isn't it? So, one click. Kaching, there it is, everything's aligned, perfect. Let me click on the selection tool and come out of there and just zoom in and have a look. Look at that, perfect. Really nice and tidy. And what the good thing about this now is, let's zoom out a bit, if I click on one of these frames and I move it vertical, can you see what's happening? It doesn't matter where I move it, that text is gonna stay locked on to that grid. Perfect. I can stop worrying about all my text being misaligned now. Brilliant. How was that? Just remember, if you've got any problems and you're starting to jump around in double double line spacing, it's going to be because, let me just do that for you, it's going to be because your leading has been set incorrectly. If I remove this, I get this down to say... So let's say 15 point, up to 15 point, you can see what's gonna happen. It's gonna make it go into double spacing because it can't fit anymore. So if that's happening, check your leading against the baseline grid increments. Great, any questions? Good. So let's see how we can apply that as a paragraph style. So, in, uh, in this example of using the baseline grid, you can see I've already turned on the visibility and I've set this baseline at 14, just like the last time. I've also changed the color. Um, I'm gonna actually preserve this now as part of the body copy style. It just saves me having to do it each time and it kind of makes a lot of sense. It's all set up uh, as part of the paragraph style. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to select all my text. So I'm just going to double click inside that first text frame and just select all, control A, command A on the Mac, and then click on my paragraph styles, paragraph styles, panel menu, and set up a new paragraph style. I'm going to call it body copy. Makes sense. I'm going to go to basic character formats and just check that I'm happy with the settings in here. Font family, Myriad Pro, regular, I'm going to leave it at that, that's fine. Size, again, I'm going to leave alone. I notice the leading, however, is at 14.4, and if we remember, the baseline grid was set at 14 point. Remember, they have to match, so let me get that down to 14. You can see a bit of a shift going on in the background there. If you turn your preview on, obviously you will see what's going on, and if you have your apply style to selection switched on as well, it will also apply it to this style as you're going along. So, Basic character formats, that's fine. Now, I need to tell it to align everything to the baseline now and preserve it as part of this style. Well, you're going to find that option underneath the indents and spacing. So let's click on that and see where we are. Great, indents and spacing, all sorts of options here. But the one I want is this one at the bottom, align to the grid, align to grid, currently set to none. Let's see what we've got. 
There, that's the one I want. Align all of them. So all lines align to the baseline. Brilliant. I saw it happen in the background. Look at that. Looks to me that they're all worked. So, okay. Yeah, that looks good to me. And now it's preserved as a style, which is great. So I could, you know, if I carried on, maybe I could then, uh, you know, base all my new styles on the body cover style and I wouldn't have to worry about aligning it to the grid again. So let me just hit escape, come out of that, kind of pasteboard to deselect. Looks good. Don't forget, once it's all set up, you can now turn off the visibility of the baseline grid. A bit stubborn. Thank you. Um, it's still going to work. It's not going to stop working just because you can't see it. And let me have a look, let me zoom in and see what's going on. You can see that it all looks nicely aligned to me. Great, and if you weren't sure, then just turn it back on again. There we go. Excellent, thanks for listening, I hope it's helped.